how do you account for dismantling and decommissioning cost recently i read an article regarding this particular topic uh, let me uh, summarize the main points uh, which i extracted from the uh, article so uh, let's uh, go through the article for better understanding to extract some of the important points accounting for dismantling and decommissioning provision decommissioning a plant especially in industries with potential environmental impacts like uh, nuclear power is a complex and highly regulated process so why is it important so why is it important imagine you have an old car that doesn't work anymore you can't just leave it in your driveway you have to take it to a special place where they will take it apart carefully remove any dangerous stuff okay so to remove any dangerous stuff and recycle what they can it's important to do this because it helps keep the environment safe and clean so so this gives you a brief idea uh, why uh, why it is important to dismantle your old asset safely in industries with environmental impact some things like uh, nuclear power plants can be risky for the environment if not handled properly so when it's time to shut down a nuclear plant you have to be extra careful decommissioning means taking the plant apart safely cleaning up any radioactive stuff dangerous stuff and making sure the area is safe so once the plant life is over it has to be dismantled safely so how does it work so how does it work experts estimate how much it will cost to do all this work they look at the future and calculate the expenses but they also consider things like inflation prices going up and how much money will be worth in the future they do this to make sure there is enough money to get the job done okay so first of all what you need to do is you need to uh, look at the future and calculate the expenses so what will be the dismantling uh, cost in the future and also you need to consider things like inflation and how much money will be worth in the future so this is what we need to identify accounting for decommissioning in the financial world we need to keep track of all this we put aside money for decommissioning just like you save for a big purchase we make sure the money is enough for the job and we adjust it for things like rising prices this helps companies show in their financial statements that they are responsible and can cover all the cost okay so what we need to do is uh, when we have to decommission or dismantle a particular asset what we need to do is we need to put aside the required money so uh, how do you uh, identify that particular money you need to identify the future uh, expenses that are going to be incurred uh, in dismantling uh, the particular plant and also we need to consider uh, the the future inflations uh, also should be taken into account when you determine the decommissioning cost okay so now let's move on to a practical example in this example we'll walk through the accounting treatment for a decommissioning provision using a simplified scenario imagine you are managing an offshore oil rig so this is uh, any kind of an apparatus co constructed for oil drilling and experts have estimated the future expenses required to decommissioning uh, decommission the rig the estimates are as follows so uh, these are the costs that are going to be incurred uh, in order to uh, decommission or dismantle the particular plant these are the years in which uh, the decommission will start uh, from 2053 onwards so these are the respective costs so 1 million 1.2 million 900,000 800,000 and 700,000 US dollars so these are the key assumptions initial construction cost uh, 50 million US dollars and the inflation rate is considered as 2% and the discount rate is 5% per annum so now what we need to do is step 1 is to uh, identify uh, this particular cost 1 million with the inflation rate before recognizing the decommissioning provision adjust the cash flows 
we inflate the cash flows to account for inflation and then discount them to their present value. Here, here's how the initial provision is calculated. Now, we are going to do the calculation today, okay? So, which is uh, 2023. So, this is the period uh, where we are going to do the evaluation 2023. So, therefore, in order to calculate the present value of these future cash flows, these are going to be incurred in 2053 onwards, okay? So, uh, from 2023 to 2053, how many years? 30 years, okay? The expected cash flow is going to be 1 million. You need to inflate this 1 million uh, at the rate of 2% uh, until uh, 2053, okay? So, this will be uh, the, the cost that you have to pay in 2023. 53 along with the inflation okay so when you discount it and the present value in today's term that cost is going to be 419,108 so likewise uh, 1.2 million to 700,000 you need to take the respective uh, period which is going to be inflated then that has to be discounted back to today's uh, value now, when you take uh, the discount effect at the rate of 5%, uh, I will explain you how to calculate this. So, you need to take uh, the power of 30, okay? So, you need to take the percent value as of 2053. So, when you calculate, uh, uh, in fact, the total amount to be paid is 8.6 million, whereas the percent value of that payment will be, in today's term, will be 1.832,238. So, this amount, now let's uh, look at the uh, the journal entries, how are we going to account this? Uh, that 1,832,238. Record the initial decommissioning provision in the financial statements. The journal entry is as follows. Property plant and equipment offshore oil rig, you can debit 1,832,238, which is the percent value of the uh, decommissioning cost. Then the credit the provision for decommissioning by 1,832,238. This entry reflects the increase in the provision for decommissioning and the corresponding reduction in value of the uh, offshore oil rig. Then what we have to do is, we need to unwind the discount. Okay? In subsequent reporting period, if there are no changes in estimates, you will need to unwind the discount on provision. In the 2024 financial statement, the journal entry for unwinding the discount would be, okay? Since uh, we have debited this amount and we have credited 1,832,238, okay, we need to calculate the, uh, what we call the finance cost based on 1,832,238, which is at the rate of 5%. Our discount rate is 5%. So every year, the 91,612 will be debited to the p &L account and credited to the, uh, the provision for this particular account, okay, will be credited 91,612. Okay, so every year this amount, the interest, uh, the finance cost will be charged to the provision for decommissioning uh, account until 2000, uh, until 2057. So thereby, this amount, the 1,832,238 will become 8,634,813 by 2057. And we will start uh, paying the decommissioning cost uh, from 2053 onwards, 1,811,362, uh, likewise uh, 2054 to 2057, the, the whole amount will have to be paid. Okay, so I will just show you through an ex uh, Excel uh, sheet, Excel calculation. Then initially, it's important to annually unwind the discount by applying an interest charge to your provision in order to build up the liability to its future anticipated value. The future anticipated value uh, is how much these are the future anticipated values okay so eventually this will be equal to 8.634813 but once we start making the payment uh, the total amount will be zero additionally remember to account for the depreciation on your asset okay now let's move on to uh, this particular excel sheet now as you can see uh, as you can see now you are given the expected cash flow from 2053 to 2057 1 million to 700,000 and these are the this is the calculation for the uh, 
uh, what do you call this uh, the percent value 1 million eight hundred and twenty two two three eight so when you uh, calculate uh, based on the discounted factor uh, which is going to be if you take the discounted factor so which is five percent uh, one divided by one plus the interest rate to the power thirty. So based on this, uh, we need to calculate the uh, uh, the amount that is going to be paid in two thousand fifty three. Now when you see this one million is inflated by two percent uh, interest rate, so one million plus one plus two uh, percent to the power thirty. So that will be the uh, future value. Then you take the discounting factor. Uh, discounting factor. Uh, in 2053 is calculated uh, by taking this formula 1 divided by 1 plus the interest rate to the power 30 so thereby you can calculate the present value this is the future value this is the present value so likewise when you calculate the total present value which is going to be 1 million 238 so this amount along with the what you call the construction cost in 2023 uh, we will have to uh, debit the bank uh, the asset account 50 million that is the asset constructed value and the bank account will be credited and also this dismantling cost or decommissioning cost has to be debited to the oil rig account and it has to be uh, credited to the provision for dismantling uh, cost so this is the uh, the first journal entry that you are going to uh, pass 8 million 832238 and credit this account and uh, thereafter you need to calculate the interest you need to calculate the interest how do you calculate the interest now based on this 1 million 232238 you need to calculate the interest cost of uh, 5 percent which is the discounting factor uh, based on this you can calculate uh, the 2024 interest cost of 91612 then that amount will be debited to the finance cost and it will be credited to the provision for dismantling cost now we need to build up this provision for dismantling cost until uh, 2000 uh, because we will be start paying from 2053 onwards so therefore until 2053 when you build up this uh, with the interest uh, finance cost okay now we have 1 million 832 uh, uh, 1,832,238 then the interest cost of 91 at the end of 2024 our the total uh, provision will be 1,923,850 Okay, so likewise, when you continue the interest uh, for the remaining period until 2053, the amount will be 709, uh, 7,918,826. Then uh, the first payment comes in 2053, which is uh, this amount, the future value will have to be paid uh, this amount. So once you make the payment, the remaining amount on the remaining amount, we need to calculate the interest portion. Then likewise, when you continue uh, making payment, the total payment will be uh, 8 million 632, uh, this amount, uh, 634,813. So the full amount will be paid here. So once the payment is made, the, the, the provision uh, account will become zero at the end of the period, which is 2057. So by 2057, you will be paying the full amount of 8 million 634,813. 13. Okay, so this is how basically uh, we account for uh, dismantling cost. Okay, so this is the, the summary which uh, I have extracted from this particular uh, this particular article. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the session. If you have any comments or any queries, what you can do is just put a, a comment below. Uh, with that I will conclude the session. I would like to discuss uh, more of uh, this kind of topics in the future. Uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.